नमस्कार हेलो एंड सलाम इमेजिन यू आर इन अ कंट्री इन अ फॉरेन लैंड हुज लैंग्वेज यू डोंट नो वेर यू डोंट नो एनी वन हुज स्क्रिप्ट यू कैन नॉट रीड एंड अ स्ट्रेंजर वॉक्स अप टू यू एंड इन्वाइट्स यू टू हर होम एंड सेज दैट शी विल कुक फॉर यू द मोस्ट अमेजिंग प्लॉ दिस इज अ ट्रू स्टोरी एंड दिस कुड हैव ओनली हैपन इन उजबेकिस्तान As culinary caravan reaches Uzbekistan, we thought what would be better than their national dish, plov, to show you the warmth of the people of Uzbekistan, who are happy to open their hearts and their doors to people from foreign lands. Today. We are making Uzbek's pulao which is a one pot dish made of chicken rice and vegetables The ingredients we use are Let's start with soaking the rice We take about 1 cup rice add 1 teaspoon heaped teaspoon of salt and then we add boiling water we are going to let this rest for at least 30 minutes to soak we will take 1 tablespoon cumin seeds and 2 tablespoon coriander seeds we will put them in a preheated pan and stir for some time to dry roast it now keep it for some time to cool down and then we will grind it cumin seeds and coriander are cooled down now we will crush them heat the pan put 3/4 cup of oil Now the oil is heated and is smoky. Now we will put chicken pieces into it. Now the chicken pieces have become brown. Now we will put onion, one cup. Now add one cup carrots, cut into thick pieces. Put ground cumin and coriander. red chili powder 1 spoon salt little bit and black pepper we will mix only vegetables we will not touch the chicken now put water Now 
before covering put the whole garlic in in the pot like this we will add one chili just keep over it and put the lid to cook for 10 minutes remember the rice we had soaked half an hour ago now is the time to take it out and rinse it we will rinse it with cold water about three four times or until the water runs clear After 10 minutes, we'll open this and take out the garlic pot. And then we will put washed rice over this. Put little salt. We will cover all vegetable with the rice. Now we will put water and water should be at the level of rice. If we put directly there will be hole in the rice. So we put water like this through this ladle. Now we will cook it for some time, open. Okay, so we cooked it on an open pot till the water has evaporated and the only liquid left should be the oil. Now we are going to make it into a mound in the middle. And we reduce the heat to low. We will make four holes all the way to the bottom of the pan for the steam to escape. Add in your garlic pod. We are going to cook it covered at very low heat for about 20 to 30 minutes so that the steam doesn't escape. We will cover it with a cloth and put the lid on. And now is the time for patience. No peeking. Let it cook for 30 minutes and then it will be ready. Traditionally, the plov is cooked in Uzbekistan in a vessel called the kazan which is made of cast iron and is heavy bottomed so if you can't find a kazan outside of uzbekistan which is what we couldn't we're using a cast iron pot which is heavy bottomed because there's a lot of stove cooking involved so you need a heavy bottom pan okay we waited for about 20 minutes now let's check whether our plow is done Oh, nice aroma and the rice looks done. Okay, so cloth is now ready. This, our plop is ready. You can serve it on its own or you can serve it with some summer salad for fresh tangy taste. We will now make a quick salad to go with our plop. To make this fresh salad, we're going to take 
pomegranate seeds of one large pomegranate. And we're gonna add cherry tomatoes, about four or five of them. We're gonna put some rocket leaves. We add a few walnuts, roughly chopped. Lemon juice for a tangy touch. A little salt and a little pepper. Toss it well together. And our beautiful summer salad is done. So we'll serve our beautifully aromatic plov with a summer salad of pomegranates and tomatoes and just for a touch of green on our plov, we can serve it with some parsley. Beautiful, right? So that is the national dish of Uzbekistan, the plov. So this was country number seven out of 21. We still have lots of recipes to go. And if you like to get inspiration of recipes from around the world, follow us on the culinary caravan and do comment and like. Bye-bye. Thank you.